what's going on everybody, Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick hardware review of the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam. Now this webcam supports 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, it also does 720 for like uh, Skype calling or Twitch streaming, things like that. It features uh, dual microphones here on the sides. Uh, it's got a glass lens. I don't know, people really think that's neat. I don't know why. Uh, it does support an H.264 codec. Uh, which basically means that it can support the uh, HD video on uh, maybe lesser hardware than you would normally be able to do with like a, a cheaper uh, webcam. Now this thing also has a uh, low light reduction built into it, a tripod ready uh, clip on the bottom of it. As you can see here at the bottom, there is a uh, little hole there for a tripod. Uh, not all webcams feature that, most do not. Uh, so you can use this for other things other than just on your PC monitor. Uh, this does not come with any software. If you want the software, you have to download it from Logitech. A lot of companies are going to that. I don't really care for it personally, but that's what everyone seems to be doing. Um, it does have, uh, it's got a nice little blue light on here, which I'll show you here in a moment once I plug it in. Uh, this is pretty nifty that you can pretty much hook this onto anything, uh, or even just set it on your desk if you wanted to. It's pretty versatile in what you can do with it. And as you can see, this little guy even fits on this tiny laptop screen. Look how thin that screen is. And it's on there. It's not going to come off easily. It's pretty neat that you can use it with pretty much anything. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in and let it install the driver. Since it does not come with a driver CD, we're going to see how long this takes. All right, and this is the webcam and webcam microphone quality at a relatively dark situation. Um, I do have a monitor on my right-hand side that's got a white screen on it. It's, it's helping out quite a bit, especially with the green screen behind me. Um, as you can hear, this microphone isn't bad. Uh, you might have to adjust it just a little bit for your particular situation. Uh, but the camera itself, the quality, it's pretty good. This is at 1080. Um, I will show it to you at 720. Let's change that. All right, and this is 1280 by 720 resolution. Um, as you can see, it's, it's not much worse quality than the uh, 1080. So honestly, 720 is probably where you want to be at, especially if you're going to be recording at 60 frames per second, or if you're going to be using this as a, uh, like a webcam for Skype or for your Twitch streaming or anything like that. You'd want to use this setting most likely. Uh, now, I do have the uh, a monitor off to my right. And that monitor is pretty bright right now. Let me turn that off. It's pretty dark in this room otherwise. Turn that monitor off. And as you can see, it's it cuts so dark in here, it's ridiculous. But for like a horror game or something, it'd be kind of neat to do that, I guess. Uh, so let me turn that back on. It'd be better lighting. Uh, but this, the quality of this webcam is pretty good. Uh, it's only about $100 now for these, this particular webcam. I know there's a C930 out. Uh, but this 920 is more than capable for anyone's needs, especially if you're a Twitch streamer or if you're someone that just wants to have your uh, your picture-in-picture -picture, uh, recording for, like, gaming or anything like that. This is a pretty good deal. All right, guys, uh, that's going to end this review. If you like what you've seen here, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.